Hello, M3. How you doing today? Listen, it's Wednesday, hump day. And sorry I missed the last two. I got back and just kind of trying to recover. But anyways, I'm back and um, I appreciate you. Today I'm going to talk about pretty amazing, um, kind of fits to what's been going on the last couple of years. The um, Israelites, you know, were captured um, by the uh, um, Syrians in Babylon, captured, held captive. And so for decades, they just went ahead and kind of like <laughs> when the COVID hit a couple of years ago, prayed and worshiped in their house. Okay. And so what happened is they get to a point where they go like, you know, it's all I can stand, like Popeye moment, I call it. It's all I can stand, I can't stand no more. And the prophet Isaiah, beautiful, beautiful. I love this verse. He goes, the grass may wither and the flowers may fade, but the word of God endureth forever. So, you know, like, don't give up hope. And it's so, let me tell you, I'll never ever, it's so much easier to say um, than it is to do. But I've experienced, you know, when you look back in your Christian life and your journey uh, since 1972, it's like we've had so many ups and downs, we have, but God has been faithful. The word of God, the word coming from God, it's just not a book, it's God's word, will never wither, will never fade, or outshine anything. So in your distress, in your aggravation through journeys of Trials and tribulations, remember, the grass may wither and the flowers may fade, but the word of God will endure forever. So get into the word, even if you aren't, get into it more. Um, at least read a chapter a day. You don't have to do the whole Bible, just read a chapter a day and let God speak to you. And that's another thing. Before you read, say, God, speak to me. Okay? All right. Well, listen, have a good day. Uh, I'm glad I'm back. I missed everyone and um, look forward to talking to everybody. Arm up to stand up, to speak up, to show up, boom, to blow it up for the Lord today. God bless.